like it's been a hot second since I've done a Fresh video where I've reacted to Fresh. Is it since the Big Four video? Was that the last time I did Fresh? It has been a while since I've really listened to new Fresh to my ears. We're actually gonna put a bunch of Fresh bands on a wheel. Just Fresh bands that I've been feeling, that I've been thinking about, uh, and that my patrons have also voted on and have solidified that they would also like to see. So yeah, I've got like so many ideas for Fresh videos I can do, but because I have so many ideas, it's like I can't commit, I can't commit to one right now. So I wanted to do this video today where I just put them all on a wheel because then I can get a feel for a few different bands and then maybe figure out what direction I want to go in next. I know I want to do the big four of German Fresh soon and that will be happening. But apart from that video, this is like all the rest of them essentially. So as you can see here are a bunch of the different bands I've been thinking about. You've got the big four that I reacted to in the last video. Plus you've got Venom, which I really want to get around to just because they seem to be really important. I want to get around to Pantera even though they're maybe not fully fresh, but who cares? I've got Testament, I've got Exodus, which are like another two bands that are really important outside the big four. Also just some other bands that my patrons have mentioned to me and would like to see as well. So they're all here. This entire video is just me avoiding decisions. Here we go. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> last Slayer song I listened to was actually really low-key. I know not all their stuff is low-key, but at least one was low-key that I found, so that's good. I know that there will be some recommendations on my Patreon for this band, so let me quickly find one. Because Slayer was in my Big Four video, which is good, so I'm, you know, I'm bouncing off of that video. This isn't completely new to me. Oh, I'm tossing up between Angel of Death and Seasons in the Abyss. So I might go in that same area again, just because I did really like South of Heaven, and now listen to Seasons Seasons in the Abyss. This song is from the 1990 album Seasons in the Abyss. Let's get ready, let's strap ourselves in! It's give me the vibes of the other song I already listened to. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, South of Heaven. I like the layered guitar. Sounds really airy. Like I'm in a horror movie. It is October. This will come out after. This come out. Yeah, this will come out way later than Halloween. Ooh. Ooh. Let's keep like gradually turning it up. Which I might regret. Woo! Honestly, I like it. Ooh! Wow! And the drums in the background! Ah! The guitar is like so rich. Oh! This reminds me of Sabotage just a little. Really to madness. Oh! Bam! Wow! It's just like... Time to convince someone the guitar is the best instrument of all time. That's what the song is. Like, 
hitting my ear a little. <laughs> wow. Like he had a little guitar in the background. You can just hear it peeping through. It's very melodic actually. Something about this song, I really like it. I really like that. Surprising myself so much right now. <laughs> That was like empowering to listen to. I think it was empowering just on the basis of, like the song actually was so cool, like really great, really enjoyed it. But there's another level to it of when I do like it that much, I'm just like, yeah, let's go. I like this a lot. Like I just get so pumped, especially when I listen to a band that I'm a little scared of. And I know Celia apparently is a lot more hardcore usually than this and this is like a bit more of a chill side of Slayer but still I just think back to like a year ago you know if I listened to this a year ago I would not have had a bar of it and now I'm loving it I'm eating it up and even compared to South of Heaven I love this like 10 times more which I don't know if it's because it's a better song for me in general or if it's even just the development I've been doing in my taste in the last like couple months you know it's shining through right now as I listen to this track I'm enjoying every second of it it's all about the drums and the guitar for me with that song the guy's voice doesn't ruin it but doesn't add anything to it for me when I listen to that song I'm more focused on the guitar and the drums just because the drums have that fresh element at points it's not really going hard it's not really doing it constantly but it has moments and I'm loving the moments more and more so fresh drums and me are really warming up to each other but then the guitar <laughs> thank you guitar so good I was loving it it was so much fun to listen to the first like minute and a half just all the guitar throughout the entire intro I was loving every minute of it later like the different layers to the guitar just add so much texture to the song it's really switching it up and doing different stuff apart from maybe when it gets a little versy chorus in the middle but towards the end I was really liking it overall I really enjoyed the track Slayer man I never thought I'd be feeling good about Slayer I guess I should stop being so surprised Surprised when I like stuff like I pretty much seem to like most things I listen to. Afrax still gave me a bit of a heart attack. So spin number two. What are we now gonna listen to? Ugh, I can't pronounce that. Sepultura. Sepultura. I'm just gonna say Sepultura. I don't really know much about this band myself, personally. We're about to find out. I might just actually do a quick Google just because I really don't know what's happening right now. So let me see what this band is. A Brazilian! Oh, this is the Brazilian one. This is why I put it on the list because I want to try and listen to more stuff that is from around the world, which is why I want to do the German Big Four in the future. But for now, we're gonna listen to this Brazilian heavy metal band. And they're like groove metal slash fresh metal. So they're being credited as one of the second wave of fresh metal acts from the late 1980s to the early mid 1990s, along with bands like Pantera, Testament, blah, 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 blah. Second wave of fresh metal, let's go, let's listen. Sepultura. A lot of people are saying Arise. Let's listen to the song Arise. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Fourth album, 1991, I'm ready. I think some random person on Reddit said if you were trying to get into fresh, listen to Arise. Okay. What? Whoa! I am recording this the day before Halloween. The ghosts are about to pop out. Ah! Ah! Please! Stand 
me like that. death metal. I'm not totally understanding what's going on. <laughs> I am lost. Someone help me. What I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and just dissect what I heard. So firstly, the start sounded super atmospheric. Nice actually, really liked it because it had this horror element once again. Then it scared me, which you know, cool, good for the reaction. <laughs> I still have my heart beating pretty fast from that scare. Initially, when the fresh was happening, personally it felt a little bit more hard than what I listened to when I listened to Megadeth or Metallica or the two Slayer songs, but maybe Slayer could also be like that. I was lost. And then when it went into like the middle section, there was a bit of like a guitar moment right before the solo and I was really liking it. I don't know if you could notice, but I started bumping my head along a little bit. I was like, oh, wait a second. If the song goes in this direction, I'm gonna love it. But then it didn't really go in that direction. It went straight back into the stuff that I need a second with. So yeah, I think overall there's moments like the end of the track as well. The drum, I was really liking the drums right at the end, like the last five seconds. So there's like little glimpses into different elements of the song where I'm I'm like, oh, I can dig that. I could like that. Overall though, right now in this present moment. <laughs> so I guess that is what's happening. I guess this genre is more vast than I thought it was. Like when I'm talking about fresh, I've always thought about Metallica and Megadeth. In that aspect, it's interesting. I like hearing something different. I guess this actually is more similar to the Anthrax stuff. If anything, it's just made me realize that like liking Metallica and Megadeth is like not that difficult. I need the time. I am excited to listen to a final track here and see what I think a bit more of some other stuff. So let's do that. Please be good to me. Exodus. This is like also in the same realm of like that second wave, isn't it? They're like one step down from the big four in terms of popularity or influence. I don't know, I just, I have heard of this band a little bit more than I have of Sepultura or whatever. So we're back with the American Fresh, formed in 1979. Wow, that is so early, I love it. Oh, Exodus was the band of guitarist Kirk Hammett before he left to join Metallica in 1983 as Dave Mustaine's replacement. Okay, I love how all these bands like connect. They are considered one of the big eight of Fresh, along with Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, Anthrax, that's the big four, and then Testament, Overkill, Death Angel, Exodus. So we're gonna check out one of those bands, which I think is a great way to end this video. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the Toxic Waltz because it's one of the most popular songs from this band from the earlier years. 
Fabulous. This is from 1989. It's from the album Fabulous Disaster. this genre is but from what I can tell overall I like it I think sometimes certain songs throw me off like Amphrax threw me off I think Sepatora threw me off a little bit still thrown off but that put me a little bit back on course that's what I'm gonna say about that song like I feel like it recentered me and made me realize like yep no I like it I'm here and maybe you know it means that I do need to stick to the big eight I don't know big four big eight for a little bit longer, I do want to do the German Big Four, but I'm scared of death metal and black metal and all that stuff. I'm really scared of that stuff. I'm not gonna lie. And if that Sepultura stuff is anything like that, I will be able to provide the good content probably because it will be funny to watch me react to it because I'm gonna pull so many faces <laughs> trying to listen to that stuff. But you know what? I do want to just settle a bit more with the fresh and the fresh that I do like at least before I go into the black, the extreme, the heavy, the deaf, whatever else metal there is. I feel like that was really centering for me listening to that track. I just dug it. It was, it was good, it was solid. I don't think it was anything special. 
I wouldn't say it blew me away out of the water, but I really dug it. It's energetic and it's lively. You know, you're doing the toxic waltz, throwing people to the walls. I like that attitude. Once again, similar to Slayer, the guitar is what sold the song to me. I really liked the guitar. I think this is the only time where the guitar solo actually provided a lot of goods. I was really digging the guitar solo. I think it's actually my favorite part of the track. Maybe apart from the chanting that happens during the chorus, I love some chanting. Like, I haven't heard a little bit of that in a while. When, you know, the whole crew comes in and sings the chorus, I really dig it. It's easy to listen to, maybe a bit too simple at times, but still overall I really enjoyed it like you know just because something isn't like convoluted and crazy doesn't mean it can't be good and I want to listen to the other four of fresh that's what I want to do um like the exodus testament whatever I also really want to listen to venom and pantera so I'm feeling a bit more confident now to do that this definitely has provided me with the confidence I needed to pursue a few more fresh videos in the future and I will do that I'm hoping the big four of Germany won't scare me I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope at least it's clear to some fresh lovers out there where I'm at because I don't totally get where I'm at. I heard elements that I liked in all three songs. I had different enjoyment of all three songs. It is so exciting to see my taste develop. I'm hoping there will be a bit more fresh, a bit more heavy stuff coming up in the next year of this channel and I can just like ride the wave of fresh. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I should react to next. If I should get into the big four of Germany or if I I should listen to the other big four that aren't the big four if you know what I mean or you think I should just do a Venom video or like a Pantera video just to listen to those essential bands they should get around to really and until next time I hope you enjoy your week and next week I should have an album reaction out as long as I have enough time to edit bye <laughs>